uh, March 19, 2014. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to do an overview again of the project with all the uh, different steps. And I'm going to be zooming in on these guys, even though in the flip video you won't see the zoom. Uh, so the first one is the process by which you get the outside of the cube by taking your section, mirroring it, and then taking the whole thing and flipping it 180 degrees. Okay? So that's the first one, and then we simply add two squares to the top and the bottom uh, to get the, you know, the two, well, the base and the, and the top. Okay, so the total is 16 inches by 4 inches, and we can talk about different ways to construct that. And this is how the section would play out. Um, just whatever you do, if your original section is this one or this one, just make sure that... Um, that you keep track of what you're using because it might get really confusing um, in terms of like if this is different from that right so we should keep track of things like that and then what we're doing is we're taking that section and projecting and cutting all the way to the center of the cube which if you can imagine for example for these four points which is four B's which are equally distant from the center of the cube because they're equally distant from the middle of the face of the cube um, you could visualize that there maybe is like four little or two little airplanes going to the center of the cube. Okay, that's why these four points are all the same and they're named B's. And then we need to find little triangles or some bigger triangles for each one of those segments to go to the middle of the cube, which we're calling Z. Okay, in such a fashion. Okay, uh, they all come together and they make a fan shape um, uh, pattern. Okay, and normally the way you would construct these things if you had a compass, and that's how we're going to do it, and you knew the dimensions, um, right, which would be BC, BZ, and CZ, if you know three known sides of a triangle, that's the only triangle you can possibly construct with it. You cannot make anything else. Uh, just a quick sketch on how you're going to scale down your pattern once you figure it out. Um, just by, by taking the midpoint of any side and then using parallel lines to the outside here, okay? That's one simple way of scaling it down to 50%. Um, this is the handout that's uh, in the current, well, in the other video, which is going to be from this, different from this video, but these are the pages from that. Um, so based on your design, which might be something like this, and on your letters, that you're going to uh, mark. You're going to have these dimensions, then you're going to have dimensions from the one section cutting uh, at the half point of the cube, or dimensions cutting at the diagonal of the cube, so for points that are on the edge of the cube. So between these three types of information, you should be able to construct your, all your little triangles, which are going to be then put next to each other. Okay. Uh, so it's a little bit like a kit of parts, and these are just real quick uh, sh sketches showing how, if you can imagine that you might have a plane that's cutting this cube, passing right through that line on the outside and the point in the middle, then that little triangle is a part of that larger plane. So these are just various views of that, you know, thought process. Um, so make sure you mark your your uh, your points because you're going to need them. And before this brilliant student came up with this other gadget, what you would do is take the compass, you know, you have your dimensions, you build your triangles, and you move, and you move along that uh, space until you have them all, which is okay. If, you know, once you get it, it's pretty straightforward. But uh, we'll see that the circle business is much, uh, uh, much more efficient. Uh, this is just a variation if you decide to do uh, a section on all faces of the cube, okay? So even um, even on the top and on the bottom, okay? So for those of your adventures, once you solve the problem, which is today, today I want you like to figure out your, your sketch, your design, and your, your surfaces, you could actually apply those same surfaces to a three-module uh, design in which your three volumes are actually uh, all the same, but there's three of them instead of two. Okay, uh, we're going to have flaps on our final design, but today we're not. Today we're just going to go straight and just cut it simply on the edges. 
Um, if your design is going to uh, come down to the bottom or the top, uh, if you put that together, the pieces are going to be dangling in the final construction, so the uh, way to avoid that is to construct it around the base or the top and then making a hole because you need access to the inside of the cube when you're going to connect all these pieces together, okay? So, but that's only for those designs that, in fact, do go all the way to the edge, uh, to the bottom or the, uh, or the top. Uh, So this drawing is the first sort of documentation drawing, and it's basically just a uh, you know step-by-step -step process. Okay, so make sure that you keep track of that process, and it's just a way of documenting it um, at quarter scale. Okay, and I think this drawing is due when we come back. Um, this one is a drawing showing the outside surface of one half of the cube and all the pieces that make the inside. And like I said. You have to arrange these in such a way that if you were to rotate them, they would actually fit the parts properly, right? Each piece would go to its proper segment. It's not arbitrary the way it's positioned here. Uh, it's dangling by one spot because there's no room to show it. Otherwise, it would be overlapping, right? In this case, it doesn't, but here, it, and this doesn't here, but here there's just no room without parts being overlapping. Uh, and that's at half scale. Okay. And then the last drawings are an orthographic, right, of your half cube and with various uh, features. And then this is actually the last. The next to last is the two views of your cube. One view is going to look symmetrical, the other is not. In this view, we're going to rotate it to uh, recycle it as our left view of the exploded, okay? a little bit like when we did the sketches of the uh, letters. Okay, so that now becomes uh, this guy right here. So you just need to draw that only once. Okay, that's the overall. So.